Hi, this is Dina for Split Coast Stampers. In this video, I'll show you how to do a simple image transfer onto contact paper. Packing tape or label sheets will also work. You'll need an image printed with toner for the technique, either with a laser printer or copier, or a picture from a magazine. I've got an image of a Van Gogh painting here that I printed with a laser printer, and I've cut a piece of clear contact paper to the same size, which is about four by four inches. I'm going to stick the contact paper onto the printed image and I usually just pull the liner off just a little ways and line up one end and then kind of smooth and pull the rest of the liner away at the same time. And that works better for me than having all the adhesive exposed. Next, you'll want to burnish the entire image so it's all stuck down evenly and well. I used a bone folder here, but you could use an old credit card or another straight edge as well. When you're done, if you have any extra adhesive exposed, you can cut those edges away with scissors. For the next step, I'm going to soak my paper in warm water. I did it here for about two minutes, just until the paper started darkening so that I could see that it was starting to break down. You can wait longer than two minutes, but do wait at least two minutes. I used my bone folder to kind of keep the paper down under the water because it wanted to curve. You could use something else to weigh it down so it's all submerged. Once you see that the water is really soaking in, you can start rubbing gently on the back side of the paper and it will begin to peel away from the contact paper. And the top layers should come away in pretty big rolls like you see here. And it should rub off pretty easily. The paper I used here is 24 pound text weight paper, so it's not super thick. So you'll keep rubbing until all of those top layers are removed. And you can see that there still are paper fibers remaining. At this point, I usually move to the sink and keep rubbing the fibers away under running water. So you might prefer to do that at this point. Just a light stream of warm water and keep gently rubbing until you've got all the fibers rubbed away and all that's left is the toner from your printed image stuck to the adhesive of the contact paper. You'll be able to feel if there are any fibers left or you'll see them when the paper dries. If you still have more on there, like you can see I do here, just keep rubbing gently until they're all gone. When you're done, use a paper towel to blot off any water that's left on the front and back. And that is how the transfer technique is done. I wanted to make a window card with my piece, so I cut a second piece of contact paper just a little bit larger than the first one. I've got about a half inch margin all the way around here. And then I stuck the two pieces together with a larger piece on the back with the adhesive side up. And that gives me a border of adhesive all the way around, which will help me assemble my card. For my card base, I have a five by 10 inch piece of cardstock, and I have a layering panel for the card front, which is four and three quarters inches square. I used a little adhesive to stick those two layers together and then I die cut my window through both pieces. My image has the adhesive around the edge so I just lay that front panel frame that's cut over the image and adhere the two pieces and then trim off the little overhanging edges. I put double-sided tape on the back of that panel and lined up the window openings to complete my card. I didn't add anything else to my card, but you can certainly embellish your card however you wish. I love the window card idea. I'd love to see how you use these transfer pieces in mixed media or in art journals as well. Thank you so much for watching.